Hey guys, welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews and thanks for joining me once again. Well, it's that time of the year where the rumor mill starts churning out information about the release of Samsung's next smartwatch. And keep in mind that these are still in fact rumors until we have an official statement from Samsung, but I have to tell you that there's been some pretty big leaks lately from reputable Samsung insiders. Plus, there was also some official information recently released from Google themselves, which seemed to add credibility or at least support to these leaks. Okay, so let's jump right into the latest rumors with the first one coming from established hipster Ice Universe, which he has said we should expect to see new releases for the Galaxy Watch and the Active Watch, and both of these are going to be labeled as the fourth iterations, which I'm guessing Samsung is labeling them the same to avoid confusion of the model releases. You know, considering there actually was no Galaxy Watch 2, nor was there an Active Watch 3, so having them the same model number now should make it clearer going forward. Uh, still following me? Anyways, bold reports are that they're gonna be launched at the same time and within the second quarter, which should put us somewhere in the April to June window. And keep these dates in mind when I share the Google Intel as there may be a correlation with the watch release and what Google is planning. And for those of you that have been following Samsung for a while, this early release would actually break with its traditional launch schedule for smartwatches, which has typically been in the August to September range. So it's gonna be interesting to see if they will in fact switch to an early release date. All right, the second rumor which was recently released is from another tipster on Twitter, which also backed the Galaxy Watch and the Active 4 model names, but then he took it a step farther to announce some tidbits on the hardware and software by basically saying not to expect to see any major design changes on the hardware for either model. In other words, expect to see the rotating bezel to stay on the Galaxy Watch and the Active Watch to remain bezel-less. There was also a hint about possible color options being the same as the Galaxy Z smartphone, which according to rumors around this device will have it available in a black, a green, a beige, and a light violet color option. Now the last piece of intel shared in the tweet takes a nod at the operating system platform which he has said will run off the Google Wear OS. And this is the perfect segue into the Google information which was recently released on the Android's developer blog about the Wear OS getting a spring update as well as new features to be added. Now for the first time ever, Google is opening up the tile development to third parties to add information directly to the smartwatch, which effectively are like Samsung's widgets, whereby you can swipe on the home screen to reveal glanceable data for things like weather, fitness, and health information. Now developers can create custom tiles now using what's called the Jetpack Times Library and apparently this is going to become available to users later this spring with the Wear OS platform update which brings me back to my previous point about the possible release of the Galaxy Watch and Active 4 release which is also rumored to be released around the same time frame. Now, could it be a coincidence that Samsung decides to launch its first Wear OS smartwatch since the Galaxy Gear back in 2013, at the same time that Google sets to open up more functionality and customizations to developers to create new and enhanced watch faces and apps? Sure, it's possible it's a coincidence, but I think you could also argue that the timing is such that it allows both companies to make official statements about the new partnership and to build confidence both of users and developers that some of the same functionality that you enjoyed on the Tizen platform will also be available on Google Wear. Of course, if this partnership is solidified, it also opens up a lot of other questions about what will actually happen to previous Samsung smartwatches. Will Google Wear be rolled out to them, or are they going to remain on Tizen? And what will happen to the Samsung Galaxy App Store? Will it be technically possible to migrate watch faces and apps to Google Wear, or are they going to be locked to only the Tizen platform? And if that's the case, will developers now effectively have double the work of creating digital assets for both OS platforms, while of course having to learn Android Studio programming, which is nowhere near user-friendly as Samsung's Galaxy Watch Studio. All of these details remain to be seen, but it appears more and more likely that we will see a partnership between these two giants in the upcoming months. So what do you guys think? Do you think this would be a good partnership for both parties or do you think one side will benefit more than the other? And if the Galaxy Watch and the Active 4 are in fact released with the Google Wear operating system, would you buy it? Let me know in the comments down below. 
I'll keep you guys updated on further information as it's released, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and of course turn on your notifications. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in our next video. Until then, take care. Thanks again for watching our review and if you liked it then show us some love with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends because with your support it really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways and of course fresh content. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.